Today, we are going to take a look at another horrifying case. This story is about a bond so tragically marred by bloodshed that it stunned everyone who heard about it. There's hardly any relationship left in the world untouched by crime, and today's case exemplifies this in the most heartbreaking way. This case revolves around an illicit relationship between a stepdaughter and her stepfather, which took such a deadly turn that an innocent woman lost her life. A woman named Archana Reddy lived in Bengaluru, a bustling city in southern India known as the Silicon Valley of India due to its role as the country's leading it exporter. Archana belonged to a wealthy family. Her father was among the city's richest men. After growing up in privilege, she married another affluent man, Arvind. The couple lived a seemingly happy life, and Archana gave birth to two children, a daughter first, and a few years later, a son. For about 15 years, their lives seemed smooth and uneventful. However, by 2013, cracks began to appear in their relationship. What started as minor disagreements eventually escalated to the point of divorce. Despite the bitterness, the divorce was finalized with mutual consent. Archana retained custody of the children, and Arvind provided her with financial support, including a settlement of 150 million Indian rupees. Around this time, Archana's father divided his property between her and her brother. Archana received assets worth 400 million rupees. With a total fortune of 550 million rupees, Archana decided to start a real estate business. Her venture thrived from the beginning, and she hired several employees to manage her growing enterprise. During this period, Archana met an investor who helped her expand her business. Their professional relationship blossomed into romance, and they eventually decided to marry, marking her second marriage. Initially, it seemed Archana's life had regained balance. She had two children, financial stability, and a new husband. However, fate had other plans. Her business began causing conflicts in her second marriage. Reports suggested that Archana grew close to her fitness coach after her second marriage, sparking tensions between her and her husband. Eventually, the relationship unraveled, leading to yet another divorce. Now a single mother of two, Archana focused on her business. During this time, she found a confidant in Naveen, an ordinary employee at her company. Naveen stood by her during her struggles, and their professional relationship gradually turned romantic. In 2019, Archana married Naveen, marking her third marriage. After their marriage, Naveen began revealing his true motives. He became aware of Archana's immense wealth, including the assets she received after her first divorce and her inheritance. Naveen hoped to gain control over her wealth and business. When Archana repeatedly refused to share her property with him, Naveen's greed turned sinister. He realized Archana would not yield, so he sought another way to achieve his goal. This led him to manipulate Archana's daughter, Yuva, who was in her early 20s. Yuva, too, desired a share of her mother's property. Naveen preyed on her dissatisfaction and convinced her they could claim the wealth together. Nadine and Yuva's relationship took a shocking turn, they began a romantic relationship, despite their stepfather-stepdaughter bond. When Archana discovered their illicit affair, she was horrified. She confronted both Naveen and Yuva, but neither showed remorse. Frustrated and betrayed, Archana expelled them from her house and began preparing for divorce. She also lodged a dowry harassment complaint against Naveen at the police station. Angered by Archana's actions, Naveen and Yuva conspired to eliminate her. Their goal was to inherit Archana's wealth without interference. They planned to kill both Archana and her teenage son to ensure no heirs remained. On December 27, 2021, the day of Bengaluru's municipal elections, their plan unfolded. As Archana, her son, and their driver traveled to cast their votes, another car intercepted them at the Hoser Road Junction. Four to five assailants emerged armed with sharp weapons. They attacked Archana, dragging her out of the car. While her son and the driver managed to escape, Archana was brutally assaulted and left for dead. Passersby noticed Archana and called the police. She was rushed to a nearby hospital, but was declared dead on arrival. Her son, devastated by the loss, filed a complaint against Naveen and Yuva, revealing their greed-fueled motives. The police investigation quickly gained traction CCTV footage showed Naveen's car near the crime scene. Under interrogation, Naveen confessed to the murder, 
implicating Yuva and the hired attackers. Yuva also admitted her involvement, confirming her illicit relationship with Naveen and her role in the conspiracy. Naveen, Yuva, and the other accused were arrested. Although the trial continues, they remain in custody. This tragic story is a grim reminder of how greed and betrayal can destroy even the closest of bonds.